Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So we have, I have already told you right, we will be starting the series for that interview, commonly asked interview questions uh, in, the, in, the com in the companies. So first, first we will uh, learn from the technology based on words. First we will learn the interview questions. What are the interview questions commonly asked in the HTML? Now if you step on to the interview or anything, so first what they will ask you is uh, tell me about yourself, what are the experience you are having, so these are all things, what are the technologies and roles that you have placed in, that you have played in your company, these are all things you will ask. Now coming to the technical thing, so first let's, uh, let's go step by step, so let's first come to the HTML. The common question what they will ask first you is, so HTML, what is the difference between block level element and inline level element, How, what is the type of categories? that htm that elements will be divided into okay so for this question what the what we need to do is every html element okay every html element that is either it will be a div tag p tag or anchor tag or anything every every element will be categorized into either one of the two categories so first one is the block level element and another one is the inline level element okay so any element will come under these two categories either it will be a block level element or an inline level element okay so the examples for those things is first block level elements is div tag p tag these all things come h1 tags h1 h2 h3 these all header tags these all comes under the block level elements so we'll try to learn about that one and another one what i can say is so anchor la anchor link span tag these all things what i can say some other layers will be there these all comes under the inline inline level elements so what is the difference between these two so let's try to see it so i have i am having here one html okay so here i will create html so let's try to do it now i told you right so we will be having two category type of elements one is block level element and an inline level element so for block level element the ex the best example element is due tag so here i am writing hello world okay so this is the div tag if you try to see the output so where this hello world will be displayed it will be displayed as usual at that top top left corner okay so this is the this is correct only why because so we will start writing when when we are writing on the notes or anything we will start writing from the left side right so in the same scenario so it is coming at the left left right left top thing it is we are able to display fine it is correct so we are able to say instead of displaying the center or down or anything if it displays means then we need to understand what what could be the reason why it is displaying down if it is displaying at the left top side means okay that is the common thing now i am having another element something like span element okay now i want to display it hello world i am writing again hello world now where this hello world has to display commonly what you can say this hello this hello world has to display after this one right so in the same line it has to display why because while we are writing on the notes we will go side by side we will not go to the new line but here the hello world is displayed here at the bottom here lot of empty space is there okay after the hello world when it is completed lot of empty space is there then uh, then also this hello world is taking a new line okay fine then what i will try to do is i will try to print i will try to write again one span tag so as usual it has to come down only right but now let's try to see now it is coming sideways so what is this happening here so now you need to understand the difference between block level and inline level element so as we know that div is a block level element so all the time block level elements takes us takes the whole whole separate line so it will take the complete line it will not allow other element to come into that place now if i give another div now if you try to see so both of things will come one by one down now if you try to add a border for this one okay so now if you try to add a border for the due tag now you will understand very clearly one pixel solid hash zero 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 <coughs> so now the border how it will take is so it will take the entire space see hello world is this much line only or something around 20 pixel or 30 pixel but it is taking the entire with the entire row it is taking so that is the basic behavior of this block level element Whereas this inline level element, what it will try to take is how much area that is necessary for that one. So it will take that much area only. So if I have two span tags and if I give the same border color for this one, let's try to see what could be the output here. See, 
how much area it is required so that much area only it is taking so that is the difference between the block level element and the inline level element block level element takes the entire row it will not allow any other element to come into that in, to come into that place whereas the inline level element okay inline level element what it will try to do so it will take that uh, as much area it is required only now for block level elements and inline level elements some particular behavior is there okay so from some particular type of behavior is there what is that type of behavior for example let's say i want to apply width okay i want to apply the so let's try to uh, add this span okay so let let i will try to add this span down separately so for this div so for this block level element div is a block level element right so i will add the width of 200 pixel okay so let's try to see that whether 200 pixel is applied or not fine so width is applied to the inline uh, sorry block level element so let's try to see that whether width will apply to this block level element or not so the same area it has to take right let's try to see if you try to see so it is not taking the width now if i try to apply the height so let's try to see that so height if i try to apply the 200 pixel height for the block level element and also i am applying it for the inline level element also let's try to see whether it will take or not so both uh, let's uh, let's add instead of 200 pixel let's try to add 20 pixel only so that it is going so much uh, big down right yeah now if we try to see um, okay 20 pixel means it's uh, so let's try to add it 50 pixel okay so we are not able to see that one right now here if i try to see 50 pixel see the block level elements is up uh, is taking the height but the inline level is not taking the height so that means here you need to understand that block level elements take the width and height inline level elements does not obey the width and height this is the main thing you need to understand okay and another scenario what you need to understand is the block level elements take the margin top margin top of 50 pixel will be applied to the block level elements whereas this margin top 50 pixel will not be applied to the inline level elements. so here margin top is applied for this one but inline level elements does not obey the margin top also where here you need to understand width and height does not follow inline level elements and also the margin top also does not work if you try to see the padding top will it work it will work so padding top of 30 pixel so i will take this 30 pixel and here i will try to apply for this one also let's try to see it so here padding is applying for this one so here padding applied padding applied and here also padding applied so the padding is applied for the inline level elements uh, but margin is margin top is not applying so these are the different scenarios so we need to understand so hope you understood about the difference between these block level elements and inline level elements so this is the answer you need to give so if they've asked you that what is the difference between block level elements and inline level elements in html means so every html element every element in the html comes under any one of the category out of these two category that is block level element or inline level element so if they have given any element p tag or a tag or i tag em tag span tag a uh, what we can say what are the elements available in the html article table everything so it will come any one of these category so either it will be a block level element or an inline level element and also block level element will take the entire row of the screen so wherever it has been placed it will take the entire row whereas the inline level element will not take the entire row it will take the place how much it is required so how much it is required for the text to appear that much space only it will take it it will take and remaining all elements will come side by side whereas that block level element will not allow side by side and also you need to understand that block level elements obeys the width height and margin top everything but whereas this inline level elements will not take the consider the width height and margin top so these are the things you need to understand hope you hope you understood about this uh, what i can say the difference between this display block level element and inline level element so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video so this is the interview question if anybody ask you what is the difference between block level element and inline level element you need to give an answer this one.
So if you have any doubts and suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.